Welcome to Concept Learn. What are the reasons for decreasing in the soil fertility? So, what factors are re responsible for reducing the soil fertility? So, suppose this year we are having some content of NPK. Suppose we are having some 3 kg of nitrogen in the soil. After the harvest of the crop, the nitrogen content it may increase or decrease. So, here there is a variation before and after the crop. So, the soil fertility is not same. It is reducing or increasing. So, why these changes are happening? What are the factors responsible for changing in the soil fertility? One is crop nutrient uptake. So, crops they continuously take the nutrients which are present in the soil. So, because of the uptake of nutrients by the crop, the soil fertility, the nutrient content in the soil is decreasing. So, ultimately the soil, is, the soil fertility is also changing. Crop growth and production, it will, it will be done by uptake of soil nutrients. So, soil fertility will be, as we are growing the crops continuously, the crops, they will uptake the nutrients which are present in the soil, which results in declining the soil fertility. By weeds, presence of weeds in the field, what happens due to presence of the weeds, the weeds also for their growth and biomass production, they will uptake the nutrients, they will also remove the nutrients from the soil. So, these are also reasons for reducing the soil fertility. Soil erosion, if there is a soil erosion due to wind or water, what happens here? This fertile top layer of the soil, it will be eroded, right? The fertile layer will be eroded, due to which the soil fertility will be reduced. Leaching losses, if there are leaching losses, uh, suppose in uh, if we are giving excess of irrigation, what happens? The nutrients in the root zone, they get leached. They move down below the root zone because of which the leaching of nutrients is taking place. Loss of nutrients is taking place. Uh, uh, removal of nutrients is taking place from the root zone to the below root zone because of which the soil fertility is reducing. Soil fertility management. So, what are the management practices which we can carry out? to improve the soil fertility. One is by cultivation practices, one is by application of nutrients to the soil. So, what are the different cultivation practices which we can follow to improve the soil fertility? Yearly ploughing. So, by following yearly ploughing, we can improve the soil fertility. Crop rotation. Crop rotation means we are rotating the crops. Every year we are not going for same type of crop. We are rotating the crops means this year if we are go going for food grain crops, next year we will go for pulse crops. So, here we are rotating the crops on the same piece of land. So, with food grain crops and pulse crops, we are going for crop rotation. So, because of crop rotation, we can improve the soil fertility. Intercropping with food grain crops and pulse crops. So, if you are going for monocropping, what is happening? The nutrient, the nutrient loss will be more from the soil. So, if you are going for intercropping, means cereals intercropped with the pulses, it results in less use of nutrients by the pulse crop. 